Okay, everybody, all you guys out there, this is the little Dell 3050 I bought for quite cheap. Nice little machine. I'm using it to watch TV because I don't want to use any of my main PCs to watch TV. So I found it a bit slow when I got it. And I didn't really sort of think too much about it. I thought, oh, that's what it is. So... I got around this and I got it from 0.79 of a gigahertz, in other words about sort of 790 megahertz and I got it up to 3 gigahertz permanently. And now I want to show you how to do it. First of all you press F2 when you reboot and you've got to get into the BIOS and set some things in the BIOS. So under performance you have the first tab, multi-core support. You find you've got a four cores or whatever, and you, you switch it all on. Then you come down to speed step, and where it says enabled or disabled, you make sure there's nothing in that checkbox. In other words, it's in the highest performance state, like it says here. C states control, again, nothing in that checkbox. Limit CPU ID value, again, nothing in that checkbox. Now, I'm not too sure about all of these things affecting the speed, but I've, this is how I've set it and this works for me. Enable Intel Turbo Boost, this is an important one, and make absolutely sure it's disabled. Now, we go exit, and we'll just wait for the, um, the machine to reboot. So, basically, the next thing is to download speedstep.exe and put it on the desktop in the in the zip folder and basically it's pretty easy to do at this stage from the desktop you can unzip it and you, then you've got a folder with speed speed step in it how you want it and i'll show you why in a minute so the machine the little 3050 is rebooting So, what I found was that because of all this turbo boost stuff that's in the BIOS and, the, and some parts of the Intel sort of um, firmware, I guess, the machine would um, speed up and slow down, but it never went above uh, 0.79 of a gigahertz straight from when I got it. And that means maybe a lot of people out there are using these machines really slowly. Uh, I'm just not too sure. But for me, it, it was stuck at that speed rate. So I'm just waiting for the... Uh, I've got some nice food to eat in a minute. It's all sitting there. Here we are. Here's the Dell screen coming up. And I'm going to type in Dell. D-E-L-L. Which is my really hard to guess password for this machine. Okay. So here we go. There's not much on this machine at the moment. I haven't, I've, I've just put like, VLC player and uh, just watching a few old films and stuff like that, stuff that I like to do. And I didn't want it to occupy too much of my life uh, and have too much on it in case it got lost. So here we have, um, I don't know whether I've been giving you the right information or not. I think uh, I think I should have been saying something like about uh, download throttle stop. There we are, here's throttle stop. Right, this has been um, extracted from the file that came off uh, Throttle Stop's great servers. You'll notice there's a throttlestop.exe and a throttlestop.ini. The way I've got it arranged at the moment is that I have Throttle Stop running, and what I'm going to do now is deliberately stop Throttle Stop to show you how to install it. So if I go to Task Manager, and if I go to performance, whoops, and you have a look at the CPU, you can see that my CPU, which was stated as being 2.7 gigs, is actually running at 3.07. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. So let's go into processes and, and go down the bottom somewhere. I hope all this comes out in the video. You can follow what I'm saying anyway. So. I'm going to stop throttle stop. I'm going to stop throttle stop. 
background. This is difficult. Hang on. So right click on that and end throttle stops task. Now throttle stops being stopped. I think probably, although I'm not sure, I think the performance will probably stay the same because it's I think it's stuck something in there. Now you can get into a mess with this because the first part that I showed you where I went in the BIOS and made sure nothing was ticked in the performance boxes. Throttle stop can, if you fiddle around with it too much, actually go back in there and reset those. Then you get in a situation which I'll I'll talk about in a second. Right, so let's just close that window there, close my VPN, and just run throttle stop because I want to show you what to do. Right, here's throttle stop coming up. And here's the interface. Now I don't want to go into too much detail about that because <clears throat> you really um, you really shouldn't uh, kind of um, fiddle with it too much unless you really know what you're doing. Otherwise, you might burn your CPU out or just do something which would damage your board. So when it comes up, it comes up like this. And the only thing you have to do is check two things. Make sure in the 3050 that the, that's 128 and that's not checked but it's there anyway then you disable turbo okay that's the only thing you do disable turbo and then you can see at the top the processor speed will hopefully go up to three gigahertz then you just close the window now what that's done is because this is a fresh installation that has basically created an entry in throttlestop.ini which sets it all up for you. When you start throttle stop from an automatic um, start, you know, your, your, your um, startup programs or whatever they call them, you don't have to find out what it's called, you can edit that as long as you've got administrative um, rights to do it. So if I now go into where I've put it in the hard disk, because this is not the this is not the throttle stop. That I, to be clear, this is not the throttle stop that the machine actually boots to in the in, in when you switch it on. I've got C slash throttle stop nine nine point five, and there's an I and I file in there. Okay, so that I and I file is all set up, and this auto auto start points to C slash throttle stop 9.5. Now if you do get into a mess and it all goes pear shaped, go back in the BIOS, do what I told you to do at the beginning of this clip in the BIOS, and also then come back into wherever you've put the active throttle stop, hit delete on the INI. Okay, there's the INI gone. Now when you rerun throttle stop, it'll tell you but it's going to kill your computer if you don't understand what you're doing with it. So there's the warning message. Hit the warning. That's okay. Then you'll come up again in here. And all you have to do is uh, set this. Now for some reason, I think this is the opposite of what it should be. So this this is the one to unset or set yeah no sorry I'm being confusing set that okay that's fine and if you set it it immediately goes down to 700 megahertz okay so this is the demonstration I'm getting I'm getting it slightly wrong so you'll have to follow with me this is actually told it to enable the, the um, turbo boost uh, function which is not what you think is boosting the speed and actually just playing around the speed of the processor because there's an adaptive oscillator in there. So you undo that and it goes back up to its maximum three three gigs for this particular CPU. So that's about it. Those are, those are the pointers to look at <clears throat> and don't fiddle with anything else. Uh, task manager, bring that back up again and we've got three gigahertz running here. So I'm not going to show you running it down at 700 megahertz and then running it up. I've set, just to summarize, I've gone in the BIOS, I've done that stuff in the BIOS, I've gone and downloaded and made a fresh copy of the, the uh, um, uh, throttle 
throttle stop. I made a fresh copy of that. Um, I've installed a copy of that properly set up in the auto exec uh, boot uh, folder that I want. So that the computer, when it starts up, you don't have to fiddle with it after that. It'll just start up. And if you did want to fiddle with it, then, uh, which I suggest you don't, then you'd have to stop that process and then uh, run it again. And then that will start changing the INI file. So with a combination of playing around with deleting the INI file, um, running it from, from boot, also playing with the BIOS, you'll then have this amazing function, which is the machine will then suddenly spring into life and be a, a damn sight faster than when you first got it. So here we have, here we have it, three gigs on what was sold to me as a 2.7 gig machine and actually ran as a little um, 0.7 mostly while the turbo went up and down depending on uh, demand load. So I've got it running at three, three gigs. The machine doesn't seem to get too hot, runs really well. So far so good, I haven't noticed any real problems with it. And here it is sitting on top of my switch. Okay. Hope this was not so confusing as it sounded to me. And um, just uh, scratch around in the comments below. Well, there's a comments below. It's not here. Um, comments below and uh, you know, tell me how you get on, or basically, if you find this useful. Because a lot of people bought these machines and they got really pissed off that they don't run properly.